Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about new feature regarding Spring 24 new module that is Lightning Logger and that is very most important for us if you are working on Lightning Web Component so you have to use this feature and this is a new feature generally available you can use it anywhere as you want in your org so before starting this you know video please I request you to all Please subscribe the channel, like, share, comment. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So, let's get started without any further delay. So, first of all, you have to do one thing. Just you have to open your LWC project. So, I just open my LWC project here. You can see. And under here, you have to create LWC component. So, before that, this uh, lightning slash logger module, let me tell you what is this. Okay. So this is basically used for, you know, monitoring and all the things like monitoring component event with the custom instrumental API, right? So here, this is the lightning logger event contain information from observations and lightning component logs. This event type is available in the lightning log file object and API version 58.0 and later. So please keep in your mind before 58, you cannot use this feature. After that, you can use it. Okay. So now, so Lightning slash logger module in Salesforce Spring 24 allows user to monitor event and interaction in their custom Lightning web component. And the module also include the component instrumentation API, which allow user to add, observe, build, tree, and monitor custom component events. Right. So how to see this in the excerpt? So you have to create the LWC component first. So let me create one LWC component. Just press Ctrl C P. I'm using window. So create Lightning Web component and give the name of the component. Let's say a demo logger, for example. Okay. So now you can see our LWC components created successfully, as you know very well, right? And after that, you have to do one thing. This is the very most important. If you want to use this logger, so you have to import this module because this is the new module right so here you have to import this module like import and this is import log from right and then slash lightning slash log this is the three request like lightning slash log okay so this is the pre-request okay so once you write it now you have to do one thing if you want to use another thing, so you can also use like a uh, lightning alert. This is also new feature, but it's uh, already there. So you have to use like lightning, lightning alert, because right now I'm using like alert, alert from, okay, it's available in lightning alert. Okay, so single quote, in single quote, you have to use like lightning, it's a lightning slash alert this module right so i just used two module but the, uh, in this video you will be see only this low one because this already there in previous uh, releases okay so how to do that so first of all i will tell you how to use these all you know modules like log as well as lightning alert so let me create the connecting callback as you know this is a life cycle hook lwc life cycle hook so under this connecting callback right i want to create one object and this object type here you can see like light let msg equal to and this object contain key value pair as you know right so key is the type here like type and then component load something like that component load okay then second one is type okay so this is the type we already learned now second is like action action is lord for example okay and after that once you write this you no know, piece of code you can log this one like log message here you can see okay so this is a simple one in the uh, connecting call van now let me tell you how to use this alert as well so in the html let me press control shift p and we can search this demo logger, right? Like HTML file. So demo logger HTML also, you can search like demo logger 
this XML file as well. Right. So here in the HTML, I want to create uh, one card or you can create the card or without card, you can also use it. Right. So in title, I want to give like logger. Okay. This is a logger here. Let me remove the unwanted HTML from this card. And here I want to create LWC button. Right. So how to create the button? So LWC hyphen button. You can see the button. It's a brand natural. You can see the neutral destructive inverse success. Something like that. Right. Right now I'm using like success. Level you can give like say success here. For example, like success or hair handle success. Something like that. Okay. This is the event inside this one. So let's say success. Right. So this is a simple you know, HTML inside this component. Now let me tell you how to implement this handle success using that, uh, you know, uh, lightning alert. Okay. So before that, please observe. Okay. We have this one, as you know very well. So here, just in the JS file, after this, you know, connecting callback, just call this function that is handle success. So just let me copy this. And uh, here in the JS file, you have to implement this method. All right. So how to do that? Under here, we can use this handle success here. So how to define this handle success? Very simple. Again, let MSG, let me create an object here. Okay. In this object, we have two property, regular type and action, right? So here in the type, I can see here, this is a click event as you know, but on have the click event, right? Type and action is, action is. So action is, like say, success, for example purpose, right? And after that, you can log this event using log.msg, here you can see. So this is the simple, you know, uh, this uh, handle success function. You can use anything as you want, but for your better understanding purpose, that's why I'm telling you this kind of, you know, uh, methods and uh, module so once you've done it now you can use your you know uh, that is handle one so up, uh, after this you know log message you can use that is lightning alert okay so how to use that very simple just you have to use this lightning alert right here and under this lightning alert we can define like message theme and label right so you have to do one thing here in this lightning alert, I can see like message as success, for example, right? And uh, theme, you have to change like theme is success. And here, after that, label also you can define like label and label also success, for example, like success, something like that, right? And once you've done it, now our method is closed here. This is our you know, simple method, like success method. And here, once you deploy this component, now we don't have any error right now. And how to check this logger inside the Salesforce. So very simple, very useful. First of all, you have to, you know, make it this uh, is exposed as a true because I want to expose this component inside my Lightning app page, home page, record page, any kind of, you know, need. And you can use it anywhere. So here I want to change the target and here you can see I can use like lightning record page, app page, home page as well. Right. So just do one thing. Once you deploy this component, now open your own. Open any object as you have or any record page as you have. Right now I'm using like contact. So I can search the contact here. So just click on the contact and open any contact as you have. So right now I have this contact here. Right, just click on this gear icon, added this page. And once you added this page, now you can inject this LWC inside this record page. So just, you can see demo logger, just drag and drop anywhere as you want from here. Right, click on the same. Click on this activate. Assign as a default all, click on the next. Save and once you save it, just click on this go back button and now you can see the success button, right? This success button. Now let me tell you one thing here. 
before that you have to do one thing one setting is there just click on the setup under this setup you have to search like event monitoring event monitoring right so just here you can see the event monitoring setting just click on this one and here you have to enable that that is one setting here please observe this is the setting you have to enable this setting here this setting right so you have to enable this setting without this setting you cannot capture the you know event so please keep in your mind this is the very most important you have to enable this setting before using this on it part so just go to the uh, another option that is event log file beta so once you clicked on this event log file beta now you can see lots of events there and this is the filter one like start and date event type in uh, like interval like daily hourly something like that right so you can filter out here like hourly and something like that right so right now you can change this date as well let's say this one 15 to 16 and apply this apply here right so you can see lots of things available and also you can filter out that particular lightning logger you can see the lightning logger just select this one click on apply and now you can see this hourly okay and let me tell you one thing we already inject that uh, logger here once you clicked on this one so once you clicked on this success again you can capture this one because this button have the click event so once you clicked on success immediately you can see this success uh, is coming as a pop-up here and also you can this lightning slash logger once you expand it immediately you can see like message type clicked action success right so these things also click event and success because we already implemented this kind of no uh, type of properties and actions inside the method so how to track these all so you can track these all using this kind of you know event log file browser so just apply this filter immediately you can see like some event is logger because it's a lightning logger you can see this logger once you clicked on this download as a csv file and please keep in your mind this logger is not available directly and also you know immediately you have to wait like minimum one hour after one hour you will be see this kind of events right and also you can store into the csv file once you download it now you can check each and every you know events like which type of event i already logged let's say this is the you know uh, like messages have this or uh, type and action property handle success have this kind of action property right and then click event have so this kind of uh, you know uh, events you can store and you can check inside this event log file browser window this is still you know this is still in beta but uh, this feature is generally available in spring 24 so you can learn or you can implement in your own for your better performance or better your understanding these all things right so guys i think this is all about like lightning slash logger module in spring 24 so guys if you feel like this is a very more informative or any kind of information you already get the knowledge from this video if you feel like that so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya see you next one